Google just announced 10 major upgrades for Gemini and these things are going to blow your mind because what's possible now with this simple AI tool, you're not going to believe it. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what these changes are and how to use them. Okay, so feature number one is they now have Generate with VO3. This is their brand new video generation model. And guess what? Not only can you get this to make videos, you can also get this to add in sound. For example, I am going to say to this, make a POV video of a batter hitting a grand slam in baseball. The crowd should be going nuts. So we're going to tell it this, and as this is actually going through and doing this, and by the way, this is going to take one to two minutes to do, I'm going to open up another window, and I'm going to show you the next change that they recently implemented. I just need to log into my right account here, and we will be able to check. Okay, now while this is actually going through, and this is doing this, we're going to open up another window, and I'm going to show you another thing that they just created here, which is going to be an upgraded deep research. In the past, if you did deep research, all it would do is go through and do a bunch of searches. But guess what you could do now? You could actually add files into this. So what I'm gonna say is please tell me what I need to do to grow on TikTok. Best practices for doing that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on add files from my drive. I'm going to connect this. And then what I'm gonna be able to do is upload a file that I have about best practices on TikTok, which is going to be this file right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. I am going to have this do this. And now what this is going to do is do deep research, but not just on the public domain. It's also going to go through the file that I uploaded for this, which is absolutely insane. And as we can see, it is going to research both websites and my files. And what this does is allow you to do deep research with the things that you already have. Now, if we come back over here, we can see that this is still generating the video. It typically takes anywhere from 60 to 120 seconds. So while this is actually going through and doing this, I'm gonna show you the next new feature that Gemini has launched. So if we come over here and we put a canvas right here, I can say something like write a screenplay for a chemistry 101 video. I'm just using one of the pre-made ones that they had here. And now what you're going to see is that you can build several different things out of canvas. In the past, canvas was really just for coding. Canvas was really just for writing, but they have completely changed that. So as we can see here, this is going through and this is making me a chemistry 101 explainer video and once this is done you're going to see how powerful this tool is now because this is absolutely crazy and what you'll notice right here is that they have this create button now i mean check this out if we click create right here you could see that we can now create a quiz from this we can create an infographic from this we can create a web page from this we could create an audio overview from this aka a podcast or we could describe our own app and get this to create our own app which is nuts because now this is way more useful essentially what google is doing here and what you'll see is that they're taking the things that they have across all of their different tools and beginning to combine them all together to make a super AI tool. Now, if we come back over to Gemini, we could see that this is actually done creating this video right here. So check this out. Now, as we can see, there are some things that aren't perfect with this. This is a very complex thing that I had asked it to do, but what you notice is that it understands what the task was. It understands what a pitch looked like. It understands what hitting looks like. It understands what the crowd freaking out and going crazy looks like. And this was, like I said, a really, really hard example for this to be able to pull off. So the fact that it was able to do this is quite incredible. Now, before I get into the seven other changes, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest AI tools. I upload videos like this every single day and you're not going to want to miss them. In addition to that, go to the pinned comment below and check out AI Automation School if you want to learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make money with AI, or you want one-on-one -on -one help from me for exactly what AI tools you should be using and how you should be using them for your specific situation so that you don't get left behind in this AI revolution. Now, for a lot of these next changes, we're going to come into AI Studio dot google.com and we're going to notice several different things 
First and foremost, if we click on models right here, you will notice that they now have Gemini 2.5 Flash Preview and they have a new one. So they have this one right here that is from April, but they have a new one that was actually just announced yesterday. So I would strongly suggest that you are using this model because it is the most up to date, it's going to be the cheapest, it is going to have the lowest latency, and it is great for several different things. For example, large scale processing, low latency, high volume tasks, which require thinking, and a Gentic use case cases, but not just that did they upgrade in here. The next thing that you'll notice is that if you come into stream right here, and if you don't know what this is, you could literally share your screen with Gemini and ask it anything. You could share your webcam, you could talk to it, and guess what? If we come over here, we will also see that this has now been updated for Gemini 2.5, which makes this right here way more useful. In fact, this makes this like a hundred times more useful because Gemini 2.0 was crap compared to Gemini 2.5. So so having this now makes this share screen feature way better. If you have not messed around with this, I would strongly suggest that you do it. By the way, AI Studio right here, everything you're going to find in here is free. Now, if we come back over to chat right here, you're going to notice some other new things. They now have native speech generation. You could generate high quality text to speech with Gemini. So we can come over here and we can do multi speaker audio or single speaker audio. We can change the model settings right here. We could choose from a bunch of different voices for each of these speakers and then we can add in the dialogue. So you could do this for an audio voice assistant. You could do a movie scene script. You could do a podcast transcript. There are a bunch Bunch of things that you could do here and as we could see these are also new models in here with gemini 2.5 clash preview tts and then also this one which is going to be pro now if we come back over into chat we will also see live audio generation essentially all this is is similar to what i was saying before with the different streaming essentially all it does if you click on this right here it brings you over into streaming where you can share your screen you can ask these questions and this basically is going to kill all tutorial videos because you can literally now just share your screen if you get stuck with something like editing a video or trying to find something or trying to pay for something or whatever the case is and it will actually walk you through exactly what to do as if you had technical support right there with you. Now, if we click on generate media right here, we're going to notice some other new things in here. Now, right now, this is still Imagen 3, but Imagen 4 is coming out. They did announce that yesterday. In addition to that, they also have Lyra real time now. What you're able to do with this is you were able to manipulate different sounds, different music, things along the lines of that. So if we come out back into here, generate media, we could see that we can now interactively create, control, and perform music in the moment. So what you're going to notice here is that Gemini is beginning to tap in to everything. And these use cases are only going to get crazier and crazier because I have some tools that you have probably never heard of before, never seen of before that we're going to get into in just a second, starting with build apps with Gemini. You can now tell Gemini exactly what you want to build and it will go ahead and do it. For example, if we come into your apps right here, I created an app yesterday. This is a YouTube video optimizer. Literally all I told it to do was make me a YouTube video optimizer that was hooked up to Google AI Studio. This went through and created this right here. Now the UI on this isn't great, but I'm going to show you how to fix that in just a second. But as we can see, I could upload a YouTube video URL give the title, give the description, give the video script slash detailed summary, and this will go through and provide me with feedback on that YouTube video, which is an incredibly complex thing because this is multimodal, then it needs to give you an output, and guess what? It was literally able to code this in like 45 seconds. But there are still two other things I wanna show you. The first one is gonna be stitch.withgoogle.com. Essentially what this allows you to do is design at the speed of AI. What does that mean? That you can transform ideas into UI designs for both mobile and web applications almost immediately. You can describe exactly what you wanna create and this will go ahead and this will actually create the design that you can then upload into Figma and you can actually create, you can change, you can control, and this is gonna help you make way better web apps, mobile apps, websites, all things like that. You can do it for mobile, you can do it for web, and this tool just came out yesterday. In addition to that, we have jewels.google.com. Essentially what this is, is an async development agent. It can tackle bugs, it can do small feature requests, it can do other software engineering tasks, and then you can directly export these things straight 
into GitHub. And guess what's even crazier about all of this? That I am just scratching the surface with all of the changes that Google has announced because again today, they're releasing another round of changes. And I think today is only going to be crazier. In addition to that, I think that Grok is going to end up responding with some crazy stuff. OpenAI is going to end up responding with some crazy stuff. Anthropic is going to end up responding with some crazy stuff. And I think that this is going to be the most exciting week in AI that we've seen in a very long time. And if you like this video, I'd strongly suggest that you check out this video right here where I go through every single AI automation agent to show you which one's the best for three different tasks. And I think the answer is going to surprise you. I'll see you over there.